Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into a fascinating topic. How Uganda's president, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, has not only maintained power for 38 years, but has done so while publicly supporting Christianity. Could this be the reason why God has kept him in power for nearly four decades? Museveni's no personal faith and his support for large-scale Christian projects such as the Pastor Kayanja Miracle Center Cathedral and even his family's deep involvement in spiritual life such as his wife Janet as a prayer warrior and his daughter Pastor Patience have all contributed to shaping his legacy. And in a recent public act of humility, Museveni repented for past mistakes during his 80th birthday celebrations. Is this why his reign has endured for so long? Over the years, President Museveni has become a key supporter of Uganda's Christian community. One standout example is his backing of Pastor Robert Kayanja's Miracle Center Cathedral, one of the largest churches in Africa, which seats over 10,000 people. Museveni has not only praised the work of Christian leaders like Kayanja, but has also provided government support to ensure the completion of such monumental projects. The Miracle Center Cathedral has become a sanctuary for thousands, providing spiritual guidance, social services, and outreach programs for children and vulnerable communities. This grand project aligns with Museveni's vision of national development rooted in spiritual values. President Museveni's commitment to supporting Christian institutions extends beyond buildings. He has stepped in to resolve critical disputes. One recent example is the Fanero Fellowship Land Saga at Naguru in Kampala, where a fierce battle for ownership and development of the land threatened the expansion of this growing ministry. Museveni issued a decisive decree ensuring that Fanero retained ownership of its land, allowing them to develop it unconditionally and continue their ministry work unabated. This move not only secured the future of Fanero Ministries International, but also demonstrated Museveni's dedication to protecting the interests of Christian communities across Uganda. The role of Janet Museveni, the prayer warrior. It's often said that behind every strong leader is a powerful supporter. And for Museveni, that person is his wife, Janet Museveni. Known for her deep faith, Janet is often referred to as a prayer warrior by those who know her. Over the years, she has organized prayer meetings led spiritual retreats, and spoken at numerous Christian conferences. Janet's influence in shaping the country's spiritual life cannot be overstated. She has spearheaded movements calling for national prayer, believing that Uganda's future lies not only in economic policies, but in its spiritual foundation. Her role as First Lady has been defined by her passion for prayer, further reinforcing the Museveni family's commitment to Christianity. Patience Museveni, Museveni's daughter and pastor. Faith runs deep in the Museveni family and this extends to the next generation. Patience Museveni Rabogo, the president's daughter, is an ordained pastor and leads Covenant Nations Church. 
Her sermons often address themes of faith, leadership, and the role of Christianity in shaping Uganda's moral compass. As a spiritual leader, Pastor Patience plays a crucial role in mentoring young people and driving Uganda's Christian revival. Her work in the ministry reflects the Museveni family's shared belief that faith is at the core of Uganda's future. Museveni's apology and public repentance. In a striking moment of humility, during his 80th birthday celebration, Museveni publicly apologized and repented for past mistakes. He asked for forgiveness on behalf of himself and his leadership team, an act that resonated deeply with the Christian community and the country at large. His repentance was seen as an acknowledgement of the need for divine guidance in governance. This act of repentance not only strengthened his connection with Uganda's Christian community, but also aligned his leadership with the biblical principle, acknowledging one's wrongs and seeking forgiveness. Faith and Leadership Balancing Spiritual and Economic Development One of the key tenets of Museveni's leadership is the balance between faith and practical economic development. At various Christian gatherings, Museveni has stressed the importance of hard work and self-reliance. He has called upon Christian leaders to embrace commercial agriculture, industry, and ICT as vehicles for wealth creation while grounding these initiatives in Christian ethics. Museveni's vision isn't just about spiritual growth, it's about empowering Christian communities to thrive economically, ensuring they play an integral role in Uganda's future development. Now, as anticipation builds for the monumental Fanero Mega Cathedral, set to be constructed in Naguru, Kampala, the question remains, will President Museveni's steadfast commitment to Christianity extend to providing financial support for this ambitious project? With his history of backing significant Christian initiatives, many are hopeful that his influence and resources will play a pivotal role in bringing this vision to life. Conclusion a legacy rooted in faith. From supporting the construction of major Christian institutions like Pastor Kayanjo's Miracle Center Cathedral in Rubaga to personally apologizing for past mistakes, Museveni's 38-year leadership has been deeply intertwined with Christianity. His wife Janet's tireless prayers and his daughter Patience's role as a pastor further underscore the Museveni family's commitment to faith. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think? Has faith been Museveni's secret to staying in power for so long? Let us know.